before we get into how to adjust the heater's CO2 output, it's a good idea to cover a few basics before we get started. First, in order to adjust the CO2 output of a heater, you must use an exhaust gas analyzer. And second, the CO2 has been set at the factory to work within the specifications outlined in our literature. The CO2 needs to be checked and possibly adjusted after any components have been replaced during service. As an example, the combustion air fan or the control module. Now let's get to it. This procedure covers the air top line of heaters and is offered as an example. Please consult the service manual for the model of heater you're working on for the specifics, as well as the target CO2 specification. The rheostat control dial can be used in conjunction with a calibrated exhaust gas analyzer to adjust the CO2 output. With the control dial in the off position, ground the brown wire on the X15 connector. Turn the heater on to the 12 o'clock position. A flashing indicator light lets you know that the heater is ready for adjustment. Turn the knob in small increments, waiting a few minutes between adjustments. Observe the CO2 reading. Make more small adjustments as needed. Be sure to wait a few moments after you make an adjustment for the heater to stabilize. When the reading and your CO2 meter is stabilized, you can make more adjustments. When the CO2 is in the desired range, simply disconnect the brown wire from ground. This saves the setting. Before we get into the software though, a note about the SmartTemp 3.0 and 3.0 Bluetooth timers. If you have a heater equipped with one of these timers, you will have to disconnect the timer to allow the Wabasso Thermotest software to communicate with the heater. Now let's see how the adjustment is made. Please consult the service manual for the model heater you are working on. After connecting the diagnostic adapter and the heater to the Wabasso Thermotest software, start the calibration process using the shortcut icon. The heater will start and you will be instructed to wait for the heater to come up to temperature. When the heater has reached controlled operation, the adjustment window will be shown. Take note of the current CO2 adjustment value as well as the reading on your CO2 meter. If you need to get the heater back to this baseline, simply enter that value in the box and hit OK. Click the left or right arrows to adjust the CO2. Make small adjustments and allow the heater to stabilize for a few minutes before making another adjustment. When adjusting with a Thermotest software, the heater is running at full load. You'll use the specifications printed in the service manual. When the CO2 adjustment is complete, hit OK. We hope you found this video to be helpful and we encourage you to watch it again and refer to the appropriate service manual as needed. If you ever need help or support with Wabasto products, remember there are three ways to get help. You can go to our technical support website, www.techwabasto.com. You can email us by using the contact us feature on the website, or you can call our technical support folks at 1-800-860-7866 and follow the prompts to reach the team.